in the industry, I think we're going towards more professionalism. I, um, as I said, I'm certified by the American Canoe Association as a whitewater kayak instructor, and I'm now certified as a sit-on-top surf kayak instructor. Um, next week, I go down to Charleston, South Carolina, for the American Canoe Association uh, National Conference, where they bring in instructors from all over. I'll get an update on my uh, sit-on-top surf kayaking instruction. Um, which is a requirement for me to maintain that instruction, but we also have a whole bunch of instructors sit down and we have guys who spend a lot of time thinking about how best to teach our discipline. And we sit around and hash out, hey, what have you been doing? Have you found anything that works good for you? Any new tricks? Um, whether rolling is a beginner skill, an intermediate or an advanced skill, it's still a debated topic. Um, but not only do we sit in conference rooms and discuss ideas that we've had to get out on the water, paddle around. Some of my learning skills are being with guys who paddle a lot better than I do. And, you know, they've got new braces, new tricks, new ways to roll a boat. And they say, hey, wow, I never thought of that. Let me try that. There's a chance to, when you're around people who are better than you are, you tend to attempt to emulate them and, and bump your own skills. In early December, I will go to the American Outdoor Association National Conference which is a national conference of primarily water-based outfitters like myself. But now water-based outfitters can be guys who are running class three, four, and five white water, like the new and the golly. Um, <clears throat> to all the way to the guy at the front royal who will put you on the Shenandoah River in a canoe, tube, raft, or kayak, and pick you up a few miles down the river and bring you back to your car doing nothing more than uh, little riffles, nothing more than class one. Um, the American Outdoor Association also does have some horse packers in it, do ranches maybe, and a number of other things, because when you're in this business, you, won't, you want to associate with other professionals in the business. So we spend three days uh, taking various conferences. A lot of that conference will be on internet marketing, social media marketing, uh, should you use Groupon, if so, how, where, and why, um, as well as liability. How do we not allow our guests to get hurt? How do we prevent an injury on our trips? And then how do you, you protect yourself when that happens? If you're running class four or five white water, um, you've got a significant risk of uh, your guests not making it. Um, and how do you Protect yourself in those particular cases. Um, we also have a trade show where all the guys who make all the gear show up with a lot of their gear. We get to chat with them about what's new, um, what are their deals, uh, and what's going on in the manufacturing end, what might be new for us, such as um, the sit on top fishing kayaks now are a big thing. Uh, I don't quite understand why, but I guess if you're a fisherman, it's a lot cheaper than a bass boat. Um, Good, bad, and ugly are working in commercial rec uh, recreation. Well, as I said earlier, it can be a seasonal job. Um, and, and when you meet guys who are in their mid to late 20s who are still living out of their cars, one of the things I saw when I was your age, I said, yeah, that's not what I want. I mean, I certainly, I spent a lot of time camping and running around in the wilderness, and a lot of that just involves living out of your cars, car camping until you hit the trail and go in. Um, and so I already knew how much I enjoyed a hot shower. And, you know, it's great going in for short periods of time, but a lifestyle would put you in that car a lot. Uh, it's not always the greatest thing. Um, also, it's very physical. Uh, so if you're a gym rat, you like that, great. If you're not, um, or if you get injured, you're out of work. Um,